we're human beings. Vocal fry. So, if you don't know the previous exercise, which is counting from one till five, introducing your vocal fry and then randomly getting rid of your vocal fry, check the previous video. Assuming that you have been doing this exercise and you're getting kind of good at it, and you're getting possible results and you're wondering what to do next, this is what you do next. So, you take your one, two, three, four, five, which hopefully you have been doing just through a breath manipulation, so you're using less air for the fry, more air for the clean, and now you are going to take that sensation of one, two, three, four, five, if, the, if these weird wiggly hands are your breath flow, and you're going to sustain single pitches and try and make that breath adjustment that you're making during the count. So you'll start in your chest range, so in your speaking voice, and you'll just go, uh, and you'll try to vocal fry through a breath adjustment by using less air. You go higher up, uh, check that you're still on the same pitch and that you're not going uh, uh, check that you're not <laughs> dipping down during your vocal fry and then you make your first attempt to do this in your falsetto range now that would sound something like this. If you go higher up. And eventually even higher. A couple of things just for this one exercise. Notice that my clean sound is not really the sound that I would use to sing. So I would never go I wouldn't sing on this kind of sound. I might go on that one. It's much thinner, it's much lighter, it is so light that it kind of sometimes like it might randomly cut out if you're randomly losing sound that's fine you're in a good region don't don't give it more volume don't give it more oomph do not give it more muscular engagement so stay in a kind of tone that you would consider really horrible and unusable and go from that tone into your vocal fry so i am being quiet i'm being more quiet than i usually am and I am trying to live, let's say, at the volume that vocal fry is native to. So the volume that vocal fry likes to live on. If you've got a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being your loudest vocally, I am trying to be at a 2. So quiet, 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 quiet. This isn't because vocal fry has to be quiet. It's just easier and more likely that you'll get it right if you are quiet. Another parenthesis is that if you are able to do this in your chest range, so in your speaking voice, you're rocking it on any pitch and you cannot even get a single falsetto pitch going. Don't worry, it's still worth doing the exercise. You're interested in learning that movement into vocal fry, maybe even in and out of vocal fry, so that you can apply it to your falsetto, and what you're starting to think about and consider is your initial pitch in your speaking voice and in your chest range is using X amount of air. How much more air might you be using during your falsetto? A lot of people will get to falsetto notes using air to get them to that pitch. However, using air to get you to any pitch 
is going to take you out of vocal fry and clean up the sound because vocal fry likes to live on a minimum breath flow and breath pressure. So any extra breath you've got is challenging your vocal fry and making your life really difficult right now. So less air. Again, don't obsess about getting it high up just yet. So you're just figuring out single pitches and if you get all the low ones and you're rocking that and you can't get a single falsetto one, don't stop trying. Go even higher up in your range. Don't assume that as the pitch goes up it will necessarily be harder. Very often at the bottom and the top it is easier to use less air if you're singing well. So do go quite high up in your range and see if you can unlock it up there anyway. And if you can't, don't worry about it. We're going to break that down later on as well. So for now, single pitches into your vocal fry. Always start clean. Always make sure you're starting on pitch. <laughs> that is all. Ta -da! Any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you. And I will see you whenever I see you next.